ever had one of those moments, you know, like you're just cruising along, everything feels fine, and then suddenly, boom, it all goes wrong. Oh, yeah. Well, for EUC writer Duff, that nightmare scenario became all too real during a recent ride. And unfortunately, these things happen, but the silver lining is that he was recording for his YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So we can actually break down exactly what happened and hopefully learn from it. Right. And thankfully, he walked away from this one. Absolutely. So let's get into it. All right. Duff was riding his Bigudo Master V4, doing some range testing on Emically Road, um, clocking in about 36 miles an hour, riding in a marked bike lane. Pretty normal stuff for an experienced rider, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what makes this whole thing even more... Well, I guess unsettling in a way, right? It reminds us is that even when we're doing everything by the book, these things can still happen. Totally. And that's, I think, what really stuck with me watching his video. He described the feeling like suddenly hitting a patch of oil or ice, just that instant loss of traction. Wow. And then, yeah, he's thrown off. Turns out his front tire tube just gave out completely. Oh, wow. Yeah. And to make matters worse, it threw him right into oncoming traffic. Yeah. I mean, it's a miracle he wasn't hit. Yeah. At that speed. Oh, I know. Talk about a close call. It's kind of erotic, you know, because he was wearing a shirt that day that said, blood makes the grass grow. Ah, get out. Yeah, some kind of inside joke about soccer injuries, I guess. Oh, man, that's wild. But yeah, all joking aside, the fact that he walked away with just some scrapes and bruises is, well, it's amazing. It really is. So going back to the incident, Duff seems to think that the culprit was a sharp edge, probably on that valve stem hole. He usually keeps his tire pressure around 30 PSI, and it's never been robbed before, so. But then he mentioned he hadn't actually checked his tire pressure in a while. Oh, boy. Which, judging by the comments on his video, it seems like that's a pretty common thing for EUC riders. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to get complacent, you know? Yeah. You get in routine, you think you've got it all figured out. But this just goes to show, tire pressure, it's not something to mess around with. Definitely not. You know, thankfully, physically, Duff got away with, like I said, some road rash, shoulder pain, a few scrapes. But he did mention the mental impact, you know, that it really shook him up. Yeah, I bet. Just that split second where you know something is wrong, the bracing for impact, that can really mess with you. Absolutely. And those are the things that, you know, might not be visible right away, but are definitely worth paying attention to. For sure. So speaking of things worth paying attention to... Duff's experience really blew up in the EUC community online. Yeah, he's got a pretty big following. He does. And a lot of the discussions centered around tube tires and the risks they pose, especially at higher speeds. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, the people were chiming in with their own experiences, advice, you name it. Yeah. It really seemed to hit a nerve, especially the whole tube versus tubeless tire thing. Yeah, and for good reason. I think it's worth unpacking that a little, you know, for anyone who might not be as familiar with the differences. Yeah, definitely. So... Like, in the simplest terms, what are we even talking about here? What makes a tubeless tire, well, tubeless? So you've got your standard tube tire, right? Imagine, like, a balloon. Okay. That balloon, that's your inner tube, yeah. and it's sitting inside the tire itself. Puncture that balloon, you lose air fast. Tubeless tires, they're a whole different animal. They create that airtight feel right there on the rim, no inner tube needed. So instead of having that separate inner tube that's prone to those blowouts, it's like the tire itself becomes the sealed container. Exactly. So even if you get a puncture, you usually have a lot more time to react because the air escapes much slower. That's pretty amazing when you yeah. think about it. So then the big question is, if tubeless tires are this great, why isn't everyone using them? Well, there are a few reasons, actually. For one, they tend to be a bit more expensive up front. And then there's the installation. A lot of people find the whole process a bit intimidating compared to just, you know, popping in a tube. I think sealant also scares some people off. Yeah, the sealant, actually, now that you mention it, Duff talked about having a bad experience with the popular sealant brand in the past. Yeah, that whole slime saga. He's not the only one either. Some of those sealants, they use a lot of latex. And over time, especially in hotter weather, it can actually thicken up. Oh, wow. And instead of flowing nicely to seal a puncture, it just clumps up inside your tire. So instead of a self-healing tire, you end up with a tire full of, what, goop? Pretty much. You can throw off your wheel balance, reduce the lifespan of your tire, mm -hmm. and, you know, changing the tire down the line becomes a nightmare. Yikes. Not a good look. Definitely not ideal. So for our listeners who are, like, now thinking, okay, maybe I need to ditch the tubes, what's, like, the one thing you would tell them about sealant? Don't just grab the first one you see. Yeah. You know, do your research. There are different types of sealants out there, some better than others. Think about the kind of climate you ride in, the types of tires you use, how often you're willing to refresh that sealant. It's worth taking the time 
to find what works for you. Great advice. So we've talked about the tech, but I think there's another layer to this whole conversation that's really important. You know, watching Duff's experience, it really made me think about the inherent risks of riding in traffic. For sure. I mean, yeah, he was in a bike lane, but as he pointed out, that only does so much. Right. It's a false sense of security in a way. Exactly. So from your perspective, how do we as riders, you know, actually mitigate those risks? How do we stay safe out there? Well, it starts with awareness. Plain and simple. You've got to be anticipating those potential hazards. A car turning in front of you, doors swinging open, debris in the road. So like almost like defensive driving, but for EUCs? Yeah, exactly. Assume that drivers don't see you, because often they don't. Make eye contact whenever you can, use those hand signals, and try to maintain predictable movements. Don't be weaving through traffic. Yeah, don't make those sudden stops if you can help it. Got it. So be predictable. What uh, about speed? Is there like a, a magic number, a speed limit for riding in traffic? Unfortunately, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to that. Traffic density, the road conditions, visibility, your own skill level, all that factors in. Just remember, the faster you're going, the less time you have to react. And the bigger the impact if something goes wrong. Exactly. It's yeah. not just about how fast your EUC can go. Yeah. It's about how fast it's safe to go in that particular moment. Duff's experience is a perfect example of that. You know, even if you're a seasoned rider, things happen that you can't predict, both with the equipment and with traffic. It's a good reality check. It is. So I guess as we kind of start to wrap up our deep dive here, what are some of the like key takeaways you hope listeners will walk away with? We covered a lot. Tire pressure, sealant selection, tubes versus tubeless, riding defensively. I think beyond all the technical stuff, though, it's about cultivating this mindset of what I like to call proactive safety. Proactive safety. I like that. What does that look like, you know, on a yeah. practical level? So it's that constant awareness of your surroundings, being on the lookout for hazards. It's about not getting complacent, investing in quality gear, and using it every single time you ride. Yeah. And honestly, it's about being honest with yourself about your skill level and adapting your riding accordingly. Pushing your limits on an empty road or a controlled environment is one thing, but you have to respect the traffic. Totally. And I'm going to be honest, this whole conversation has really got me thinking about my own writing. Like, I'll be the first to admit, I probably don't check my tire pressure as often as I should. Oh, yeah. Me neither. It's easy to let those things slip. It really is. But, you know, that's the thing. We see it time and time again, right? Yeah. Like with Thuff's experience, even a small oversight can have huge consequences. It makes you wonder, though, you know, with all this talk about tubes versus tubeless, like, shouldn't manufacturers be pushing tubeless setups more, especially with these newer EUCs that are capable of hitting these crazy speeds? That's a really good question. And honestly, there's a growing debate about it within the EUC community, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, on the one hand, you can't deny it. Tubeless setups, they're just safer, especially as EUCs keep getting faster and faster. Right. But on the other hand... I get it. We talked about this earlier. Cost is a factor for a lot of people. Totally. And the whole sealant thing can be kind of a pain. Yeah, for sure. And then there's just the like perceived complexity of it all, right? Yeah. I think for both riders and manufacturers, there's this learning curve. But I got to say, you know, technology marches on, right? So as tubeless components become more accessible, easier to use, and hopefully a little bit cheaper, I think we'll probably see a shift. Yeah, kind of like disc brakes on bikes, right? I mean, it used to be this high-end feature. Now it's like almost every new bike has them. Exactly. And <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we see something similar happen with tubeless tires for EUCs, you know? Especially, sadly, as more incidents like duffs happen and people start to realize, hey, this is a pretty important safety thing. It's like that old saying, right? Necessity is the mother of invention. That's it. Maybe we'll see some kind of hybrid approach, right? Where manufacturers offer both tube and tubeless options so riders have a choice. Yeah, I could definitely see that happening. Yeah. Give riders that flexibility. You know, choose the setup that works for them, their budget, their riding style, their risk tolerance. It's all about finding that sweet spot mm. where you've got performance and safety and it's all accessible to everyone. Well said. So I got to say, this deep dive into Duff's, well, it's been pretty eye-opening to say the least. I mean, we went from this like heart-stopping crash to this whole conversation about EUC safety, the future of the tech, you know. It's a lot to process. It is. But, you know, if there's one thing I hope our listeners take away from all of this, it's this. Writing EUCs, it's a blast. It really is. But it's not without its risks. Absolutely. So be like Duff. Be prepared. Check those tire pressures. Inspect your gear. And ride smart. Ride smart. And until next time, everybody, stay safe out there. Happy riding. <laughs>